In this video, I will discuss the event publishing approach called Right Aside and why you need to be careful when using it. So first, what is Right Aside? Which is when a processor of a request or an event performs its main operation, like updating records in a database, and then afterwards publishes the occurred event to an event platform. Now, because the two operations are external to the processor, you need to ensure that the two complete successfully or not at all, or you're gonna have data integrity issues downstream. Because it is not a question of if it will fail, it's when. And in order to roll back changes on failure, you need to perform a distributed transaction. However, performing distributed transactions bring a world of design problems because what do you do if the event after the operation does not publish? You could try to retry another time and it may work, but it comes to a point where you need to stop and either try later or move on. But if you try later, the ordering might be mucked up. Now, what do you do with the performed operation? Do you roll back the initial database transaction? What do you do if the rollback fails or the commit has triggered an action which is not reversible? You could perform a two-stage commit, but what happens if the commit fails? Of course, you could not acknowledge or commit the consumer offset if you was using Kafka and reprocess or implement a retry solution. However, what happens if the operation is not idempotent and performing it again can have negative effects which are not reversible and if you can't publish the occurred event you will lose the event which might be problematic okay so to summarize don't use right aside if you can one you cannot lose data two you cannot roll back three reprocessing the message will have reverse effects or you cannot know if it has been processed before now bear in mind if you publish an event at a later point after process later events, does the ordering of the events matter in your solution? If so, this will have negative consequences. And only use right aside if, one, you can lose events if not published, two, you can reprocess the request or triggering the event will have negative consequences or implement exactly one's processing when you check if the operation has already been performed and if it has, then only publish the event. But if event ordering is existential to you, then this would not fit your requirements. Now, go watch the video about the outbox table pattern